please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Smith versus Smith. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Smith, you have brought your estranged wife to court to prove that you are the biological father of her four-year-old daughter, Christina Cookie Smith. You signed the birth certificate and have been daddy since she was born and claim you know you are her father. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Smith, you admit that you allowed your husband to sign the birth certificate and initially believed he was Cookie's father, but as your daughter got older, she no longer looked like him. And now you believe another man is her dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Smith, take us back to the beginning of your relationship with Mrs. Smith. In the beginning, we actually met in middle school. Uh, We went out through, like, I want to say seventh, eighth grade. And then we reconnected after high school. All right. And you dated, fell in love? Right. We actually got married. Okay. We actually ended up getting new phones around that time. Okay. So it was just like the other phones were kind of lingering around. Um, So I'm just casually just going through them. And, you know, I saw text messages, some photos between uh, my wife and, and some other cat. What did you see? What was the exchange? Well, it was, it was like, it was like you know, I, you know I, I miss you. You know, when you miss a person, you know, apparently you've seen... You've seen them before. You know, nude photos. Oh! You know what I mean? And nude photos of your wife or of the man? Excuse little, me, Your Honor. I've never both. seen any of these alleged text messages that he's talking about. Well, did you send them? I mean, even if you haven't seen them, did you send them? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, then he seen them. (laughs) So what happened, Mr. Smith, when you see these text messages with nude photos and I miss you? I basically, you know, I I let my parents know what was going on. And, and I, I packed up and I, and I left. I had to. So you then called your family member, your mother. Right. Just to, you know, because she's, she's my support. You know, she, she helps me on, on everything. Everything. You know what I mean? Everything. And that's just, just out of natural, you know, just natural affection for you my mom. You were upset. Yeah, I just had to, I had to go to my mom. <laughs> I had to, I had to, I had to. So she had, she talked me through it and, um... She actually, you know, helped me get through a lot. So, at some point, Miss Smith, you find out you're pregnant. Yes, ma'am. Um, I found... When I found out I was pregnant, I, we were very excited. I told Christian we weren't together. And I thought that this could be a chance for us to reconnect and make our marriage work. And he agreed. And shortly after, we, we got back together. And so you found out you were pregnant. You told Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, when you found out she was pregnant, were you happy about it? I, extremely happy. You were extremely happy. <laughs> extremely happy. And she said she hoped that this would help rekindle your relationship, did it? I didn't know what love was until I met this person. Wow. Right. So then, and I'm having a, a baby with this person as well. You can't, you can't ask for more. I already got everything I need. <laughs> Were you there at the hospital when she was born? I mean, priority number one. <laughs> okay. Hey, sure, but it was a cesarean section um, birth. So what what I made sure was since I couldn't cut the cord, um, I asked the doctor, you know, can I can I lean over? Can I see? You know, because you can only see that one time. You know, it can only happen one time. So now, you know, when when Cookie is 18, 21, 40, I, I can tell her that you, you know saw. I saw you come into this earth. You know what I mean? The first time you just. Uh, came out in there. I understand. And so you were there. Yes, ma'am. And you were happy. Ecstatic. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. And she has your last name. Yes, ma'am. And so, Mr. Smith, at what point do you start having paternity doubts about Christina? So, I'm in the shower one day. I believe Kalita's at work. Cookie's out there. I'm watching her. And um, I just noticed something just that doesn't need to be there. You know, I didn't put it there. I know everything that goes on in my house, so it's just a CD that I see that's out of place. I'm like, I didn't put this in here. So th- the number that was on the CD, you know how people can pass out CDs? Yes, their contact know. information. Right, that number, it's just something about that number. I ain't forget about that number. And then I saw an Instagram name. So I immediately go, I look up the Instagram. So I'm, I'm scrolling, and I see 
some somebody <laughs> holding my daughter Whoa. with a what? You know, with a cheese. You know, with a one of these. You know, with a cheese on their face, like it's all happy and everything. So does it have a caption? Um, it did have a caption, but I, I not for word for word barbatim, but it was something in the line of him claiming her though. It was that. So this photo, you actually submitted in your court papers. This is the photo you saw on Instagram? Honestly, though, I don't want to, um... I don't like looking at that. I don't like looking at that at all. You can't um, even look at it? Nah. Who is this man? Well, Your Honor, his name is Joseph. I actually met Joseph after we separated. And around the time, I was very vulnerable. <clears throat> and he was the only one showing me any type of attention or any love, which I needed because I felt lonely around the time because my husband left me alone. So... Yeah. You had sex with him? Yes, ma'am. Did you use protection? No, ma'am. Did you... Did you tell him you were married? No, I did not. Mm. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, Cookie is now four years old, and you believe that she is this man's biological child. Yes, Your Honor. Not your husband. No. But for the first two years, you allowed your husband to believe that she was his without ever saying, while we were separated, I had sex with another guy, unprotected, when I got pregnant... There's a question. Yes, ma'am, because I didn't feel like it was any need to bring it up to him because when me and Joseph hooked up, we were separated. So I didn't bring... I didn't tell my husband about it. But at the point you find out you're pregnant, shouldn't you at least put these cards on the table? Yeah. Because he's bonding with this child for two years. Correct. Especially and you knew the I whole... You. Did you know I the did. whole time that there was a possibility that this other gentleman could be her biological father the entire time? At first, I had no doubt in my mind that Christian, you know, wasn't the father of my child. But as Christina got older and her features started changing, that's when I, you know, had some doubts about it. But now your husband has formed a bond with this beautiful little girl. He's on her birth certificate. Right. He's raised her. And you never stop to say, I better say something? No, Your Honor. Oh, she's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> so if he has a caption saying, this is my child, you had told this other man that the child was his? Yes. Yeah, before, before me, right? Before me? Like, like I, like, I don't mean anything. Just this random person gets the best information in the world and you feel like you can't tell me the one thing that I actually need to hear. For my sanity... I think we need to hear from that other tough. man and he is here. <laughs> Jerome, please escort Mr. Joseph Prater into the courtroom. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. Gonna have you go right up to the witness stand right next to the judge. <clears throat> Mr. Prater, how did you meet Miss Smith? I seen her walking down the sidewalk and I actually like ran behind her and um, we exchanged numbers. We talked on the phone for a little bit, not too much in depth, but we talked for a little bit and then maybe a couple days after that we met up. Did she tell you she was married? No, ma'am. I had no clue. So when did you find out about the baby? I don't know a time verbatim, but the first time that I've seen Cookie in person was two... She was two years old. Did you ever find out she was pregnant at all two years before? Um, yeah, uh... You know what? I can't... I don't even remember verbatim. I don't. So, tell me about the first time you met Cookie. I was in, um, downtown. We met in a, uh, in a public place, and I saw her walking, and she was in the stroller, and she just looked up at me with, like, a mischievous, like... <laughs> like, one of those type mm -hmm. things. And I was like, yo, you know me from somewhere? Like, that's when I felt like it might have been my daughter. You did? Yeah, it was something there. Like, she knew me already. And so, when you met her, did Miss Smith say to you, this is your child? I ain't gonna lie. I, it, when I seen her, 
I, she looks like just like my dad. She looks just like us. So, you know, I never really like doubted it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I always thought that, yo, this is my child. And so while all this is happening at two years old, you find out, you accept it, you've got this little girl. Do you make plans to stay in her life and to be a part of her life and to take care of her? Yes, ma'am, I did. But at the same time, I wasn't in a position to be a, 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 a structure of a, a good parent or anything at all. So you're saying that you did not start providing support for the child? I mean, I would see her. I would see her and we would like, you know, So spend you time, would see her and you would spend as, time with her? Yes, ma'am, but it's... As, how many times did you see her and spend time with her? She's four now. After you met her when she was two, did you see her more than one occasion? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And you'd always refer to yourself as daddy? Yes, ma'am. And all this time, Mr. Smith, you're also spending time with her? Of course. And, and having absolutely no idea this entire encounter occurred, still referring oh. to yourself as daddy as well. Wow. Miss Smith, what kind of web you weaving? Mm. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I... give you time to think <laughs> on it. I'm gonna hear from your mother. Please stand, ma'am. Step over to the podium. State your name for the record, ma'am. My name is Tony Brooks, and you are Mr. Smith's mother. I am, Your Honor. Your son has already said that when he first, uh, you know, had issues in his marriage, he ended up moving out. They ended up getting back together. They had this beautiful baby. This baby, I'm sure, if your son thinks it's his daughter. Mm. that's in your heart and mind your grandchild. It is my grandchild. It is. I love her. She's been there. When he first... They broke up. I've never thought they should have been together in the first place. I always feel like their relationship is just toxic. It doesn't work. At what point do you even find out about Mr. Prater? I kept asking him, like, what's wrong with you? Like, what's it? He wouldn't tell me. And he finally was like, look, I gotta show you something. And he goes, he pulls up the Instagram... And just puts it out there. He was like, see, I guess you were right, Ma. Aww. And I didn't want it to be a point of me being right. That's not the point. The truth just needs to be out. But with that said, the truth is, is that you obviously didn't know that from that two-year point, Mr. Prater is still in contact and seeing Cookie as her father. Mm -hmm. And your son is still functioning like Cookie's right. father. And Miss Smith, even though you opened up and told Miss Brooks the truth, you still were allowing Mr. Prater to see her behind your husband's back. Until to, to, to just now. I didn't even know any of that. And Mr. Prater, you did not know about Mr. Smith. Oh, mm man. -hmm. So, Miss Smith, why? I just couldn't find the right time to say anything about it. When you have issues like this, the right time is the soonest time available. Because that means the child would have clarity. <laughs> Your child. <laughs> and so as we stand here today, what are your hopes in this moment? I assume, Mr. Smith, you hope that you are her biological father? Definitely. Definitely, without a doubt. I... I can't... I can't really ask for anything more. Honestly. I would love that. And, Mr. Prater, I assume, since you are attached to her and believe you're her biological father, you also hope you are her biological father. I... I do hope she's my daughter. Like, at the end of the day, I do want to apologize to bruh and say that, um... I feel like, at the same time, if I am the father, she's just gonna have two. Because he's been there for two years, four years, and, you know, at the end of the day, I'll be on the kind of you know, so. Miss Smith, what do you hope for? I'm just hoping that we could all work together for Christina. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's about her. It's about her. And I'm ready to get the results for her. Jerome, I'll take the envelope, please. Here you go, Your Honor. Thank you. Yep. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. If you need paternity court, call us at 855-883-6223. In the case of Smith versus Smith, pertaining to whether Mr. Smith 
or Mr. Prater, is the biological father of four-year-old Christina Smith. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Prater. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. I know that was not the news you wanted. That's tough. Oh, I know. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. It's my, it's my baby. It's my baby. <laughs> but we have to be honest, it's his baby too. And he is the biological father, and you are the legal father. Which means this web is still continuing. It's complex. So we have got ourselves into a real situation with emotional issues, legal issues, marriage issues. We have counseling and resources here in this courtroom. I want you all to sit down and I want you all to begin this healing process for yourselves and most importantly for Cookie, all right? I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.